Over this 25 years, we've had a kind of sea change in values and especially in our comparison group that we always used to compare ourselves to our neighbors. And in my parents' generation, it was keeping up with the Joneses, looking to the neighbor that had a slightly better car or a slightly better house. But what's happened is that now we spend more time with the people we know from television than our actual neighbors. And so we want what they have. So keeping up with the Joneses has literally become keeping up with the Kardashians. And that's created a really unrealistic comparison group where not only is what we want completely outsized and has no relationship to what we can afford, but it's also literally fiction. So it's kind of like we're experiencing this collective FOMO of wanting, always wanting more and what other, what we see in social media or what we see in the media. The movie starts as a kind of look at greed and having more and it ends up being about values and parenting and the possibility for change and kind of getting off this unsustainable path. I mean, I made the film because I really felt like everything, when we look at everything I've seen over the last 25 years and how all the pieces of the work fit together, it shows us on an unsustainable path, feeling almost like the fall of Rome, like dancing on the deck of the Titanic and like we might go off the cliff. And yet what we see in the film are these terrible crashes both the financial crash, but also people's personal crashes, lead to insights that can create change. That, in a way, the film becomes this tension between legacy, what we inherit, and agency, and whether we can make change. And in a way, it's really in the collapse and the crashes that we have that possibility for change and for agency. And I think that's what ha what, that's the choice that a lot of the characters make. We have Mijanu who grew up as kind of Beverly Hills High beach day pinup. She was best physique at Beverly High and very much in that world of the kind of superficial and what you look like and what you have. And she moves far away from that and really unplugs and raises her daughter without television and really makes a choice about the kind of life and values she wants to give her daughter. So I think that there is hope at the same time as there is a cautionary tale. I mean, I think social media has just amplified everything and has created this kind of collective FOMO where we never feel like we have enough and we're always comparing ourselves to something completely unrealistic. Chris Hedges um, had this amazing insight where he said to me that Facebook is the end of friendship because friendship is about breaking down the walls between us and being vulnerable. And Facebook friendship is all about presentation. And so I think that in a way, what we see, the kinds of addictions that we see um, in the film to money, but also to posing and to youth and to beauty and to fame is really because we don't have those deep connections to our friends and to community and to our family and those things that allow us to really know who we are um, and where we come from outside of what we buy. My work is really about deconstructing the culture so you can see the matrix that we're in. And I think that when you see the matrix, it gives you some power over it. So I hope that the film contributes to a kind of aha moment where we can see what's driving us to make the choices that we're, that we're choosing, sometimes out of our conscious power and be able to have agency and make better choices.